Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. The scent of the day is spiced coffee. If you're a coffee drinker and love the smell of coffee, this is a great scent. I just love the spiced coffee scent. This is a soy wax melt. There are also candles. There's not one in spiced coffee. You have to get mocha, I believe. Anyhow, they have jewelry involved with them. So the cart tarts are extra large or twice the size of most leading tarts on the market and they have jewelry involved so you can get earrings necklaces rings you get to choose what size ring this is one that I got out of a tart or a candle with JIC check out the link in my description box today I'm sharing a shopping haul and then I'm going to make something at the very end I have a couple of small stamp slash scrapbook art paper supply stores outside the norm of what you call Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joann's. And today I got to go visit one of those for a little bit and then I went and visited another one. One of those is Paper Arts in Edmond, Oklahoma. A friend of mine owns that store, so I got to sit in on one of her classes that she taught this morning with Heartfelt Creations. And while I was there, I learned a little bit about using the uh, Fantastics by uh, Tiscanito. And she was out, so I've got some on order, but I stopped at Hobby Lobby and used my coupon and got some. These are used to color with, and I'm going to play with these this coming week and see how well those work. I got those at Hobby Lobby, but that was because of her that I purchased those. But while I was in her shop, I bought these dies. They are a heart border and little arrows and like a little lacy edge. I've been wanting some edge borders to do on some of my cards, but I just couldn't quite figure out what I wanted, and she happened to have these for a reasonable price. I was out of score tape, so I looked, and she happened to have it, so I bought some. And I saw this motorcycle die, and I have an idea of trying to use this with some product that I have, because I think it'll be a really cool cut on there. But my father-in-law rides motorcycles. I've got some other friends that rides motorcycles. And I thought that would be a cool thing to use. And then I picked up these pennant flags. So there's two sizes of each one of these that puts a stitched edge all the way around. They're by our daily bread. So I thought these were kind of neat because of the different sizes they had available in them. And then I left there and went over to Hobby Lobby <clears throat> and in the clearance aisle they had these Sizzix Thinlets for $3.67 and they're available to make the word celebrate but also if you're creative you can do create C-R-E-A-T-E -E. you can also do art A-R-T-E so I thought I'm going to go ahead and buy this little die set. So you've got an exclamation point, a period, A, B, C, E, R, T, and L. So I've got a few letters to play with. So I think that'll be fun to add to my die stash. Do some fun things with that in the future. And then over in the paper section or the art supply paper section, they had their paper pads and journals all on sale. I'm in a couple of swaps and round robins. One of them is a swap I'm doing that we're supposed to make a journal with watercolors. So every page is supposed to have some kind of watercolor element to it, whether I watercolor that page with watercolors or using some of the tattered angel spray something like that no blank pages but also leave room to write and journal add photos that kind of thing so since they had it on sale i didn't want super super heavy paper and i also didn't want real lightweight paper either i wanted something that was designed for watercolor so i bought this 90 pound watercolor paper because I knew that I could cut it in half. It's a 11 by 15 sheet. 
So I knew I could cut it in half and then be able to fold it and make a nice book out of that. And then I'm in another round robin and we needed a small lightweight journal. This has 22 sheets in it, which is supposed to make basically 44 pages, but I only need to be able to have 12 layouts like this. I'm going to take some of the pages out because we're going to do a 12 month round robin where I do a two page spread and I mail it to someone else. They flip it over, they do a two page spread, mail it to the next person, two page spread and so forth. And then it comes back to me as a finished journal. And in the meantime, they also have a journal that they're working in and they mail. So we all have a journal. So 12 journals will be circling the globe and we will be sharing that with the world and letting you know what we're doing as it goes around the world. So we'll be looking for that on my channel as well as some of the hashtags. I'll be sharing that with you later. So that's why I bought this journal because most of you know I don't go and buy a lot of supplies anymore because I have so much in my room, but I needed something for that. One other thing that I did buy while I was at Hobby Lobby is they have these decorative tape dispenser. So for $1.99, and right now they're 50% off, I got this decorative tape dispenser. So I could put my washi tape in it. It is a two-piece unit, so it comes apart. Let me see if I can do it on camera without breaking it. Oh, go this way. So it's two pieces, so you can just drop your washi tape in, much like the old tape dispensers that you use at the office or like a scotch tape dispenser. And then you can put your tape in there and then rip it off. Because if you're like me, it drives me crazy when this tape gets attached to the roll. And then you're digging at it, trying to get the end. And uh, yeah, I get frustrated. And I just end up saying, forget it. I'm not going to use it. So I thought maybe this will make me use some of my washi tape. So I wanted to share that with you. The last thing I wanted to share was, let me get some stuff out of the way. As I went to a stamp store that I have not been to in years. This is a new location even for them. And this is their third location. So the three locations ago is when I visited their store. And then they've moved two times. And I got to see them. And they have a lot of mixed media stuff. A lot of stamping items, mixed media. They're not into the scrapbook side of it. Where... Paper Arts, to me, has stamping, but it's more scrapbook side and card making side, where My Heart's Fancy is more on the mixed media side, making the canvases, making the, the beautiful art journals that are at the same time messy and beautiful and really artistic. So they're completely different in that the one store, to me, is a little more clean line and very... Uh, prim and proper when they put their pages together and then my heart's fancy just from seeing them again today is more like let's get in here and let's get dirty and let's get paint all over us because that's kind of the feel that I got it today so I saw this stamp because I recently and I didn't share this on one of my videos I went to New Mexico to Santa Fe and I purchased a Laurel Birch bag that has puppy dogs on it. I'll show a picture of it. It has beautiful bright colors, which is part of my personality, and I love carrying it around. Well, when I walked into her store today, she has a Laurel Birch line of stamps. Apparently, Stampendous is re-releasing these stamps. They had them many years ago, but they've updated the designs, and they are re-releasing these. And I purchased this horse set, and I thought they would be kind of fun to play with today. So I've cut a piece of paper, and I've got my Misty here. So we'll move all this out of the way. I've got my, I've got some watercolor paper here. Get my magnets to hold it in place. If I can get it in the center of the card. It has a weird backing on it. I've never seen one where 
the cling backing was larger than the stamp image. It's kind of different. Okay, I think I have it now placed where I want. So we'll see if this picks it up okay. Hey, it picks it up even though it's a different type of way of mounting it. So I'm going to ink this up with the Brutus Monroe Detail Ink. I'm going to do it again. Since it is watercolor paper, it has texture. So since it's in the misty and it doesn't move, I can stamp again. I'll do it one more time across the main. Clean my stamp and take it out. I'm going to heat set this and I'll be right back. I've got some glimmer mist here and I thought, you know, she always did bright pretty colors and they don't have to be painted individually so I'm going to spray these. I've got some denim blue here so we'll try some of that. I've got some Night Before Christmas. I got really dark. I'm going to spray it with some water. That'll lighten it up. I've got some true turquoise. And I've got some party pink. I think that looks pretty cool. It kind of gives it a rainbow effect. I'm going to heat set this and I'll be right back. I've got a paintbrush here. I'm going to go back in and kind of print in some areas that I want a little bit darker. And since I know that this purple is really dark, I'm just going to... I'm not going to do it that way. I don't want to make a big mess. I'm going to spray it into my palette here. There we go. I think I like those colors on there. It's kind of bright cheerful. I'm going to go around the edge with the Brutus Monroe black ink, detail ink. I'm going to use my ATG gun to adhere it down. Go all the way to the edge. Since it's watercolor paper and it's a little damp, it's curled, so I put some extra on it. And there was just quick playing with that Laurel Birch stamp from Stupendous and some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And I know it's hard to see in the camera, but I really like the glimmer that it puts on this. So it's kind of a quick watercolor looking card. I hope you enjoyed seeing the goodies that I got today in the Laurel Birch stamp. If you have any questions or comments about the items that I showed today, let me know. Send me a message down below. Make sure you like this video. Share it with your friends. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Because I do share things there that don't always make it into my videos. And check out the links below for the stamp pad that I shared today. And Glimmer Miss. Have a fabulous day. And thanks for watching. Bye.